Well, hello friends, Fujosevich here. Welcome back to some Hearthstone. And welcome back to some of this Inner Fire Divine Spirit Yogg style priest. I'm not really sure if it's fair to be calling this combo pri I don't think it's fair to be calling this control priest, that's for sure. But maybe it's just easiest to call this control or combo priest. Not sure if people really know what that is though. Ooh, a frost bolt from our mage friend again on our Radiant Elemental. That's kind of okay. Um, we kind of have some options of, do we want to look for some Shadow Visions action? I think we're just going to go with a Cabal Talon Priest here, though. And we don't wish to live forever, Talon Priest, just long enough to get a nice Divine Spirit going on. So it would be interesting, actually, to see if our opponent does burn a... Uh, some sort of, you know, Fireball or something going on here. It looks like that's a big no. We'll attack in here, avoiding the Vape Nation. Not that we actually expect it to get hit with the Vaporize there. But the overall game plan here is we're either going to build up a huge minion that we're going to hit with, like, let's say, what is that going to be? 8 is going to be 16 next turn. Or we're just going to do crazy Lyra things next turn. And honestly, I'm not sure which one I like more. Um, Because we can Lyra coin and do Shadow Visions and then also heal. Uh, let's try and see what this is. This is 5 plus 3, so that's 8. So we can only go up to 8, only up to 8. Um, and the issue is, though, we'll burn a couple of our spells this turn, not on Lyra. Or maybe we should just go off with the Lyra. And I think we will go. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's go here a little bit. One for free... Discovering something else. Uh, we can get another Divine Spirit, I guess. Or do we want another Shadow Vision, since this isn't really what we want? Well, that's not really what we want, so we'll go with another Shadow Visions. Then we will Circle for the Lyra Cycle as well. Uh, we have the option, actually, of playing Forbidden Shaping, simply because we do have the Free from Amber. But I feel like I'm going to hang on to it, because in the event that we actually get our, our uh, board gets blown out right now, we haven't really gone all in on the 2-8. Like, as much as yes, there is still that chance to kind of... Well, maybe our opponent's given up now on the idea of... Uh, and we will go Inner Fire. And I guess, yeah, 16 is going to be enough for me. Maybe we could have done more. We could have done done more cycling and all of that stuff, to be honest. Yeah, at that point, uh, that concede kind of makes sense from our opponent there. Fun deck. On to the next one. And we got ourselves a quest warrior, which, you know, sometimes is okay, sometimes is awful. I don't think I want to use our, our turn two for shadow visions. We do obviously have potential, you know, Tar Creeper dealing 20 damage in a turn. On turn, uh, it'll be five then, I guess, because turn three, we simply play the Tar Creeper. Turn 4, we would have to buff it, and then turn 5, we would do it all, so that's kind of something. Although, I guess maybe at this point, we would just Divine Spirit and Inner Fire just for ha to have a 10-10 on board, so we don't commit too much, so that at turn 5, we can Elise. Afterwards, we can kind of, you know, we're not looking for an OTK here, necessarily. But I think, you know, this is going to be able to provide a bit of a bit of pressure, and obviously, if our opponent has Execute, it's bad for us. Obviously, yes, obvious. I don't know, you know, let's just, let's just sit around here and state the obvious. But I mean, no hard removal, and we're in pretty good shape. I would just go face, because that's the whole name of this matchup. The whole name of the game here is just... Um, haha, do we want to do the damages to the face? Uh, we can do 12 to face right now. Um, like, how important is setting our opponent at 18 right now? If our opponent didn't have if our opponent had execute, they would have played it, right? So maybe we can just do this and then play Elise. I'm trying to think what other like what other reasonable play could we get? Like could we do? Uh wait, do we have lethal if we Shadow Visions? No, because this only goes to 14. If that goes 14 plus 2 is only 16 damage. And then our opponent could like set up another. Another one, so that'll be okay. And now we've shuffled our Ungoro pack in, so our, our, our Shadow Visions will have more good things that we can find right now. So that's always good. In, in the event that we have to play the long game, which we're hoping we don't, but you never know. 
And now we have Elise out, so maybe Elise can kind of punch through some of our opponent's minions. Like, if our opponent throws out another Blood of Brave, we could attack in, then Shadow Visions. That's unfortunate for us, but really not the end of the world. Um, Whirlwind. Sleep with the fishies. Oh, and there goes the Execute. There it goes. Okay, so that's going to be our draw now, which will be nice. Oh, and potentially a whole heck of a lot of draw. Um, or do we want a Shadow Vision? How much is this? Two, four, five, six. But then we can't also draw. Uh, let's do this draw first. This is the cheapest draw. And who knows? Maybe set something up. And it gets rid of an opponent's minion, which I like the most. I'm a huge fan of getting rid of our opponent's minions. That's actually great. That is actually... Fantastic. I want to pack the most right now. Yeah, we, we take as much as, yeah, like, hey, we can draw two. Who cares? Oh, we can draw three, but who cares about that when you have a pack? Uh, Ungoro pack. So that's perfect. So we're going to have at least one pack this game. Oh, golden legendaries. Oh, we have a, some decent legendaries there, too. Well, actually, no, we don't have decent legendaries. Yeah, this is pretty average. This is how I remember opening my packs when I went through. I did have a do a pack opening video. My next one, actually, for the next expansion is going to be way, way faster and way better to actually go through. Because a lot of it's just me just blabbering. But this is actually, yeah, this is, this is pretty nice. So, um, how do we want to do this? Uh, so this is pretty good. This is pretty average, I think, for a pack, right? All goldens, five goldens. Two golden legendaries, one golden, two golden epics, one golden common. I think that's that's the way I remember it. I so no big deal here. Um, we can can we afford to draw any more? And we can draw a little bit more, but not too much. Um, and then we could living mana as well, just to kind of annoy our opponent in terms of going wide. Um, I hate the idea of punching this with both of these, but I guess we will. Uh, this draws us down to eight, nine. Someone is injured, and it's Elise, so can we fix that? Oh, there we go. That's pretty nice. And we can't, obviously, living mana, but that's okay. We don't w want to fish forever. The ball. But that's okay. So now we have a nice wide board. Maybe this draws out some sort of, you know, any sort of hard removal that our opponent has. I mean, one, one, uh, one executes already gone. Maybe we do a little sleep with the fishes action right now. Maybe we get hit with a brawl. And honestly, if we do, we just throw down a living mana. And continue to go. The issue is living to ma living living to mana, uh, living in. Uh, yeah, living mana is obviously super weak to the uh, dragon that's about to get played by our opponent. The uh, four eight. I don't have I don't have that with the deck list in front of me, so I forget what the name is. Even though I played dragon priest for an entire season, played it for an entire month. Oh, that's pretty bad for us. This is actually really bad for us. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Um, we can attack. Attack. No, we can't do anything silly. I and mean, we can do lots of things that are silly. When you cast a spell on this minion, summon a 1-1 plant and copy. I mean, maybe Tortola is going to be later, but I think right now I'm just going to punch through this way. Oh my goodness. Do we want to draw two more cards? I don't really want to. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's going to be really bad for us, isn't it? Uh, if we draw two more cards, we're going to be milling ourselves. I guess we can throw down the Radiant Elemental. Maybe Lyra is not happening as much as I would have hoped. Um, this is really tough. This is really tough. Why don't I know what to do here? Uh, three, four, five, punch. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, the numbers just don't add up. I don't know why this is taking me so long. I apologize, everyone. But also, I don't. Uh, we'll burn a... Uh, no, that, that just goes to full. Oh, uh, that could have been useful. Ock and I. Uh, no, 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 no. And we're okay at nine now. Okay, that, that was an awkward turn. But again, we're continuing to put pressure on our opponent. If and when we get hit with a brawl, we can just refill the board. If our opponent does just play uh, Primordial Drake, is that the 4-8? With the two mana, two damage AoE? Uh, we still survive that. We more than survive that right now, which is nice. There's another minion, and that's quest completed, which is kind of, you know, with the board that we have, it has to be a little bit worrisome for our opponent. Um, oh, wow, just going for it. 
Okay, they're gonna use the four to pr just probably kill the five here, which makes sense. Ah, that makes sense. Ah, setting down to 19. We're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, King Mosh is gonna be a thing. Okay, here we go. Do we have lethal? Three, six. We have 14. 15. Do we have any other direct damage? Um... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, King Mosh doesn't do it. Oh, if we'd played the, if we'd played the gastropod, we would have lethal. Um, if we could, yeah, we could try and find lethal here. That, that would be the silliest thing we could do. Um, three, six. This becomes 14, 15. I think that's okay, just simply because we can refill our hands so easily. Uh, double this to 14. And that's all we have, right? That's okay. Um, and then we will play... What else do we want to play? We'll play this, I guess. And we'll, we'll draw one just for the heck of it. Just in case. Have we used anything from the pack? One, two, three, four. We haven't used any of our pack cards yet. Even though the pack is, you know, part of the thing that draws me towards this deck... It really just, you know, hasn't come in. It's good to know that we have all of these, you know, mechanics, you know, and these options. Maybe actually it's funny. Because last turn I said if we had Gastropod, we would have won, right? Execute. Execute. Obviously no brawl. Because you would brawl first and just execute whatever's left, right? You would brawl and then try and hero power it and then execute. I imagine. There's a good chance we just have this game. Yeah, that's lethal. That's well played. That's good. That is good. Yeah, that's fine. And this way we can get the lethal with uh, Armorsmith, which is cool too. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, everyone. That's going to be it for this video. That's going to be a super quick, uh, super quick win there uh, against that mage who really didn't have a chance. But sometimes, you know, that's what this deck can really do, which is fine. Uh, we did get run over once by Pirate Warrior, but there's no point in showing that. This is just kind of interesting how we, we played the pack and really didn't re get any, you know, use out of it. It was good to know that we had all those resources, but we were able to go fast enough with our Inner Fire Divine Spirit combo that it didn't really end up mattering, which is kind of cool. Thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. That's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time. Keep your stick on the ice.